Alrighty, now the PTS Phase 2 just started today with huge changes. So there are going to be a lot of videos coming from my channel to give you all the insider information about all of the new exotics, gear sets, game modes, XP changes, uh, you know, etc, etc. I mean, you saw the patch notes video. There's a lot of changes coming to this game. Now... With that being said, we're going to have to jump back into these gear sets and exotics and things like that because they did make changes between PTS Phase 1 and Phase 2. So I need to update you on what these changes are and how significant or insignificant they are. Now just remember, if you ever see a video of mine and you see the PTS and my name over there on the right side of the screen with the Division 2 logo, you know that I am in the public test server. Now today I don't really have time to do all my really cool spoiler warnings and whatnot, so this is gonna be your verbal spoiler warning. If you do not wanna know anything about year five or anything coming to the game, just hit the like and I'll see you in the next one. You know, obviously I don't wanna spoil it for you. However, to everyone else, we are testing what is coming out. So we need to be well aware of what this is. That way we can test it, get it tweaked, get it fixed. And then whenever it does come out to the live game, everyone has you know a good final product that they can use. So this is to help us and it's to help the developers. And you could just see from the changes between phase one and phase two, they are listening to the community. So please, let your voice be heard. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of these changes. Okay. Now, uh, with that being said, in today's video, we are going to jump into the gear set. Okay? So here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 PTS video. Now, shout out to the DoD, Disciples of Doom. And in today's PTS video, we are going to talk about the Cavalier gear set. That's right. The brand new gear set coming to Year 5 Season 1, or Title Update 18, the Cavalier gear set. And in my opinion, this gear set is going to change the game for everybody. Now, uh, now let's jump into it, shall we? I'm not going to do the spiel. You already know. Hit the like, subscribe. All right, here we go. Now, we are going to talk about this gear set, Okay because they made a lot of changes and these are some crazy changes. Now, this is gonna be perfect for any team synergy, like anything, whether it be the raid, whether it be uh, legendaries, whether it be just open world activities, PVP, PVE, it doesn't matter. This is going to change the game. Now, it might sound like I'm just hyping this up, right? Just blowing smoke up its backside. I'm not. Just, <laughs> if you want to skip ahead, just read read this four-piece talent, okay? While we get into it. Now, Cavalier. A lot of people might be scratching their heads. What is the Cavalier gear set? Well, this was previously known as the Paladin gear set but they changed the name to Cavalier. It was initially supposed to be Cavalier because whenever we did our first uh, look at that Paladin gear set, each of those items said Cavalier on them and it was a bit confusing. So they did change it and now you can see it is called the Cavalier gear set. Now it's kind of cool. You can see it has the little knight icon with, you know, that's pretty wicked with all of his armor and everything, pretty cool. Now, this gear set <laughs> is pretty crazy. Now, during this PTS, I'm gonna show you multiple builds using this gear set, because this thing is, I, I'm, I can't stress enough how they are changing PVP without changing PVP. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are making no real changes to PvP. They're just adding things to it that are completely, like, scrambling the meta. Like, this, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be, um, instead of your dedicated healer, you're going to have a dedicated Cavalier player. I promise you. 
All right, now let's just talk about these set bonuses. So these two set bonuses make it even stronger than you might realize, okay? So the two piece gives you hazard. Why does the hazard matter? Well, if you read ahead during you know this little spiel, you can see it comes with two talents, charging and charged. Now the charged part, that second paragraph, it says that you can share all of your hazard protection to the people around you, okay? Now having that hazard protection as a gear set bonus already guarantees you're helping out your team at least by 30%, but it's 40% because you get 10% hazard from your watch level. If you watch any of my build videos, I tell you, you know, 10% of my hazard is due to my watch level. So just right out the gate, you already have 40% hazard that you're giving your entire team. Now, if you look down here, it says with all allies for 10 seconds. It, it doesn't say within 10 meters. It doesn't say, oh, you have to be, you know, three feet from them. You have to be in slapping distance or whatever the hell, you know, spitting distance, you know. It, it's like, come on. So you're basically going to have a dedicated hazard player running around, and when they get charged, everybody has full hazard, okay? Now, some people might think that, you know, uh, because it's just like a charging charge thing, it, it toggles on and off, right? So you have to think of it that way because this doesn't mean you're just going to have full hazard the whole time. You actually have to have this talent work in order for it, you know, to transfer to your allies. Um, so don't think it's like automatic God mode and this should be automatically nerfed, Okay. It actually has to be put together in a right combination, and you have to, you know, actually use it correctly. But this will change team synergy as we know it. Because if you're going up against a team and they are running hazard or, you know, status effects, if they are doing that, having one person just toggling full hazard to the whole team is really going to help out. Because the burn duration from <laughs> skill builds is insane. Truly insane. Um, I made this a hundred percent status effects build the other day and the bleed and the burn that it causes, it makes the player hit multiple armor kits because the status just keeps going. Right. But using a build like this would immediately stop it. And that's going to change the complete, you know, encounter. Because instead of running back and getting in cover and popping your armor kit and freaking out, oh, I'm burning, help me, Tom Cruise, help me. Instead of doing all that and bleeding out, oh, oh I'm on fire, you're, you're going to have someone on your team giving you full hazard. And it's like, oh, I'm bleeding, oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, it's gone. Okay, let's go. I mean, it's that quick. It's that quick. So whenever I'm explaining this, just know it's it's insane. Now, the coolest part about this is they just changed all of this to incoming damage, where the last patch, it was also skill reduction, right? Skill damage reduction. Well, they changed it to where it's all incoming damage reduction, so not only can this build give you full hazard, but this build can also reduce 50% of all incoming damage. 50%. And that toggles on and off just like the hazard. So, so check this out. So you can have a full hazard and you can see it also comes with repair skills. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So you can run around with full hazard, right? Say you're just a support player through and through full hazard. You're toggling, you know, you're charging, you're charged and you're toggling full hazard and 50% incoming damage reduction to everyone on your team. Now, just imagine someone else on your team running tardigrade. And then just imagine the other two people 
are running DPS with Unbreakable. Okay? So now you're running around with a DPS Unbreakable build with Tardigrade, Unbreakable, and someone using Cavalier, reducing 50% of your damage intake, and it's giving you full hazard. I mean, it sounds <laughs> it sounds amazing, and that's because it is amazing. I mean, it is. But you would have to have someone do this. Like, instead of having a dedicated healer, you would have to have a dedicated Cavalier player. You see what I'm saying? And this is just, phew, man. This is going to change the game. I mean, I understand how Future Initiative will give you that damage buff. Now, that damage buff is really nice. But this giving you hazard and damage reduction, I mean, I would actually take this over a healer. You know what I'm saying? But what's even crazier, and th this is going to make a few of you flip, what if you had two people on your team running this? One with full hazard and the other one with full repair skills, right? So then you would have two people toggling full hazard. You could have or uh, you could have two people toggling damage reduction, my bad. One of them is healing you and the other one is toggling full hazard. I mean, that right there is that's going to be insane. Especially if then you have another person running tardigrade and then you're running full red DPS with unbreakable. I mean, shoo, woo. That's going to be crazy. Um and that's why I keep stressing that this gear set is it what they're doing is they're adding things to the game to increase build diversity but then also completely change the way we do pvp and they're doing it without actually changing the game which is crazy i mean this is a good approach i like this i i do because remember, a year ago, we didn't even have pulse resistance mods, remember? A year ago. But now we can be fully pulse resistant and fully hazard. And with this, we're going to be able to take less damage and be fully hazard and have a healer. I mean, phew. I hope we get more gear sets like this in the future. Because this is a step in the right direction. All right. So let's, uh, let's do a full breakdown. So this is the chest piece, right? Let me take off the cosmetic. Uh-oh, it's bugged. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can put on another one. There we go. All right, so here's the chest piece. And the Cavalier gear set bonuses. I like how the numbers change on the chest piece. That's pretty cool. Uh, the gear bonuses, you get hazard protection, 30%, repair skills, 40%, and then the charging and charged bonuses. Now, because I have the chest piece, you do get that extra talent <clears throat> called overcharging, and that's where you get the 50%. Um, they did nerf the, well, n they didn't nerf. They changed these talents completely. In phase one, it was up to 70% reduction in skill damage, which we were all like, yo, this is a anti-skill, anti-status effects build. Like you could do, you know, no damage from skills and, you know, full hazard. That's amazing. Well, they changed that and now it's even better because now it's all incoming damage. It's called incoming damage protection and it goes up to 50%. If you do not use the chess piece, it can only go up to 40%. So let's read it right here. So it says charging, charging. For each uh, second spent out of cover during combat, your agent will get 5% reduced incoming damage, max of 40. So what's that? 5 and 40, so that's 8 seconds. So it takes 8 seconds to get to charged. So every eight seconds, you will, well, you have to be out of cover and in combat. So run and gun, essentially. 
And then it says uh, every eight seconds you will be at fully charged and you will gain immunity to any movement speed debuff. And you will share this. So you'll share that movement speed debuff and your agent's hazard protection, additional skill damage reduction with all allies for 10 seconds. Hold on, let's see here. Hold on now. I think that's uh I think that's wrong. Share this with all of your agents hazard protection, additional skill damage reduction. Uh, I think that's supposed to be incoming damage reduction um, because they just changed that. Remember, you can see under charging where it says incoming damage, and then you can see under overcharging it says incoming damage. Um, so I think that's a typo right there where it says skill. That's from the last phase, so that probably should say incoming damage. So you share your hazard, you share your movement speed debuff, and you share your incoming damage reduction with all allies for 10 seconds, okay? Now remember, it only took eight seconds to become fully charged. So you're, you're gonna be charging fa uh, faster than your allies are even, you know, uh, losing the buff. So you're gonna be able to provide this to your allies constantly. Now it says after charged is consumed, Charging buff will resume if still in combat and out of cover. So as long as you stay out of cover, you're doing your run and gun, you're still going to get this back every eight seconds. So it's not like everyone is fully immune forever. It's only, you know, for the allies, it's for 10 seconds. And then you have to wait for that player to be charged again. For the player that's actually charged, they don't, you know, they have to build all of that up. So they're not going to, you know, have the, those full numbers the whole time. And that's why nerfing it from what it is now might not be the best idea because this, uh, this seems to be in a good spot now because they tweaked it a little bit lower than what it was previously. And you have to charge it. So you have to constantly be out of cover and in combat. I mean, it, it's going to be something you earn. This isn't a gear set that just gives it to you for free. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, unless you're in combat and you stay, you know, behind the wall and you're just watching your teammates play. I mean, but that sounds boring, right? Now, uh, for the chess piece, that overcharging increases it to 50. So you can get up to 50% incoming. So then that would be 10 seconds to charge. So if you're running the chess piece, you will get charged at the same time, your allies lose their charged, so you can constantly give them that um, as long as you have that chest piece active. That, that's pretty wicked. Now, looking at the backpack, though, let's see if we can take that skin off. The skins for the backpacks are all jacked up. There we go. All right, so here's the Cavalier backpack. So what this is going to do is it's going to charge 10 sec, uh, ten percent per second. So then that would give us a five second charging. Oh man, that's sick. So I mean, you're constantly going to charge every five seconds. That's that's pretty badass. Um, this is going to be a really really good gear set. I'm not going to lie, I like it. You could run it with hazard. You could run it with repair skills. Hell, you could run it with both. Um, this is going to help out everybody in the game. I'm going to show you multiple builds using this gear set, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this is uh, too powerful? Do you think it's not powerful enough? How would you change it? How would you tweak it? Uh, do you think this is going to change the builds, uh, the whole synergy in the game, or do you think it's just going to be put in the stash? I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe for more Division content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. And uh, I'll bring you another PTS video later on. Until then, peace.